What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Romeo Master Total War campaign as the Brutii. So to remind you what happened last time, uh, the Numidians, the tiny Numidians declared war on us and they apparently only have one region. They have one region under their command and that is the small territory here at Cyrene which is a large town. So naturally we're going to sell a full stack to go kill them. <laughs> Um, chiefly because I anticipate some response from the Egyptians. So it might be a good idea to actually send... Oh, to be honest, it's not really diplomats I want, it's spies. I'm going to recruit some spies and send them down to this line of three cities here, Alexandria, Memphis and Thebes to go and uh, get some intelligence on what's going on down there. But I think where I'm going to start the episode is take Orders. Servius oh, yeah. Servi that's five units of cavalry. It's a lot of cavalry. Cavalry is useful. Well, Imperial. let's take Servius's army and go and assault the territory of Sinop. So we've got a lot of generals in here. Some quite elite experienced troops but they're all a bit depleted. Lots of light cavalry. Let's go take him out. This could be the last Greek city. Potentially. It could be. So we've got a lot of cavalry. So we're going to want to get archers or men up on the walls to start capturing them. So I can, so my cavalry can have a greater freedom of movement around the city in order to surround and destroy. Today we face those masters of lies. Falsehood and perversity. The Greeks. Beware of victorious Greeks, for they show little mercy. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? That army comprises a full quarter of our foes' warriors. Is that the best that they can do? These old women, beardless youths, and craven dogs? I think we will grow weary of killing today. Right. Order, siege tower. Some good siege towers. Just to secure walls? Where are my sap points? Oh, they want us to sap both of these sections. Alright then. So I guess this tower is going to go... Try not to go for this section because that'll be fired on by two towers. If I go here, I'll be fired upon by one, but that'll be manageable. Siege tower, siege tower, siege They've all got a unit of Praetorians up there. I've got a lot of cavalry for an army trying to siege a city. So this could go quite badly wrong. My archers can sap. group of those. It leaves us two that will be free afterwards to try and get in. Try climbing the towers to secure some of the walls. Although we do have a straight shot straight to the square right here. Hmm. These Praetorians are probably enough to take to hold the wall. So let's group our siege towers together so now much of my infantry is committed. Six infantry units uncommitted. That's not bad. Let's start. It's a bit overkill to sap both these points, but whatever. So what's on the wall to meet us? Armoured hoplites. Peasants. Hoplites. Armoured hoplites. Okay. I may want to throw some men up onto the wall. Oh. I may want to throw a unit apiece onto each tower just to provide them a bit of extra support. I know the. I've got to make sure these. These towers are pretty good at doing damage to your towers. Well, yeah, these towers are pretty good at doing damage to your towers, but the trick has always been make sure you just. not do anything, apparently. Get these men across over to this tower. 
surprising that they actually had as much damage done to them as they did. There we go, so let's commit both these units of Praetorians to secure the walls. There goes that tower. Go on, you men. Get in there rapidly. Don't spend too much time outside because they've got some pretty darn good ballistas coming down. Looks like they're actually about to abandon the wall for us. These are my urbans. They take. They don't take any messing. So the gateway will be ours. That will be quite a significant win. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. The run up the steps. That means you can go like this and see how quickly this fills up compared to the conventional ones. The conventional towers, one can head east and one can head west. Victorians. I mean, they're going to slowly shuffle, but at least it means they'll get a good critical mass. Captured the walls. We've captured now the gates. To press on and capture this place. Which means we're going to fire. We should hopefully be firing some misery down onto them. But now the job is to do this fight the far side of the gate so that we don't. We don't let them get within range. Uh oh. You jump the gun, buddy. You're a bit isolated. So let's get a siege tower, the urban cohort, to run this direction to try and sandwich these hoplite units. Because I want to try and provide some support to these men, although they are cutting them down. Oh, this is actually pretty useful. We're pinning them. All the, all the while are sat points. Oh, yes. Look at this. <laughs> They're trapped. They are trapped on the wall. Good stuff. The engineering works have gone well. The enemy walls are now undermined. So we're going to kill as many men that are left on the this section of broken wall here. These men are now stuck. I mean, they are pell tests, so they are going to... Yeah, look, they are doing... Try and pull the men back. So the urbans... Okay, look, so these men... We need to secure this tower, because they're firing into the backs of my urbans. That's pretty good to know. Look at that. This is going to be... This is great. There we go. Take the tower. You guys keep running around to secure the walls. The urbans have got this. More hoplites. These Praetorians have got these guys. So 
So that tower is going to be going to suck to try and take out. Not as much as these arrows are going to suck for them. Although, they're not actually aiming. Oh, they're shooting at this unit of incendiary pigs. Not the pigs! Although it's the first look we've got of the pigs, and they look they look pretty sweet. Do like pigs. They're routing. So once we've taken... Okay, we've taken that tower, so let's get these... Get these early legionaries back over here, because we probably won't need any more than that. I just want these towers... I want these towers to do as much damage to them as possible. Are you still getting engaged from the tower? No. Good. So when you finish sapping, you can engage the Greek light cav in the in the, uh, the breach. No, you turn around actually. Stand there. Maybe they're wavering. Urban cohort might not be able to stop these men alone, but I can at least give them as the javelins that are coming in. They're going to do the problem. Well, equites. Let's get my equites in to try and glass cannon the the Greek cav because Greek cavalry is not very good. What I want to do is throw cavalry in. Do as much damage as possible. Well, maybe not quite as easy as that. Yeah, the Equites should really have. Didn't really want them to get countercharged by. Um, by the General's heavy bodyguard. Get all of you just hit, hit the general's bodyguard. Actually, you take that tower. These guys might actually run around to try and hit these guys in the rear and free up all this infantry. You guys run in. These guys will likely take a lot of damage. I don't mind losing my cavalry because I've got... There we go. Greek light cavalry are broken. Now my bodyguard is upset. We are losing a lot of cavalry. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle it's beyond belief. Great gods be praised. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's go. hearts. 
So these men that are not cavalry. You men advance. Get my general in here. You're holding off the Greek cavalry. There they go. Oh, and they're going to try and route through you, which is even better. These men have surrounded and flanked the armoured hoplites up here. So these men will form the infantry block that will push up this corridor. Fighting to the death. Death it shall be. Then now these men. Get these archers up on the wall. And legendary cavalry. They, that's the cavalry I, you think of. Get our injured cavalry around the flank. Get our heavy cavalry. So I want these archers to come up here and take this tower so we can pro push this. Well, to be honest, we need to run out, get up on the towers and capture a lot of towers. We need to get up here. Ideally, you want to go hit the gatehouse as well. speed up time because we've got a lot of troops because these guys can't climb walls or climb towers very quickly they've lost a lot of men standing around outside as they do that they're going to go and hit all these towers which is exactly what we want we have to wait a bit for all of these guys to get off the walls Two blocks of infantry being pushed up either main area, pushing up cavalry around the square. I just don't want to take any chances. Because they've still got a unit of General's Armoured Bodyguard, which is pretty, pretty good stuff. Just let these men catch up. Obviously all these guys don't really have anything to do because they're all what have they got? Chiefly they've got missile cavalry, light cavalry, missile cavalry, general's bodyguard. So wherever their strike's going to hit, it's going to hit hard. Which is why you want... Archer Auxilia, what are you doing up here? Well, they're going to be very upset. Poor Greek cav unit. Ah, the general's gone to gobble out the archers, but everyone else, sorry, you're getting infantry. Legionary cavalry hit the... Legionary cavalry hit the general. Drop your lances. In they come. 
that did the trick. Everyone else can focus on the leftovers as my general can watch. There we go, the general's armoured bodyguard is going down. the general oh I mean it's not over because uh, they've got a guy a bunch of guys trapped on the wall so let's just form my men into a nice nice line while we wait out the timer sweet so the legionary cavalry did a pretty good job right at the end of there once we fix them in position with my infantry then the cavalry shoot him up sorry guys sorry you couldn't get involved <laughs> oh I almost clicked continue there we go <laughs> getting stuck up there but there we go that was quite nice that went pretty well I will likely exterminate the population because they will not like me either. Ex exterminate. Demolish the Ni Temple of Nike. Immediately it makes them not like me, but gotta do it. Let's knock down the Agora because it's not got to the level of promoting happiness. Get rid of. Can't get rid of land clearances. Let's get rid. Oh, no, public order still exists. Get rid of the practice range. Doesn't seem to be helping. Oh well. Auto merge. Let's do some retraining. Sweet. Satasa's so still angry. Resistance is futile. Yeah, we've knocked them out. My fleet is still on the way south. Everyone is... Oh, I was about to say everyone's still building. They are not. Apollonia, large city. Build some new walls. Athens is a huge city. And you can build... The, actually, she's building an urban barracks. Sparta. Build a dockyard. By Lazora. It's probably squalor doesn't help. No. Uh Aquinsome. Aha. Okay, walls. Barracks. Archery range. Stables. Blacksmith. Need to get the military up and running there. Sardis. We get a, happy, uh, get a temple to try and promote some happiness. To list on the north. Let's get a bath. Again, Tarsus. Not happy. I mean, squalor we can do something about, but not yet. Distance to capital we can't help either. Unrest. Nah. We could move our capital, so that might not... Ultimately, the grand scheme, moving our capital from Tarentum to somewhere like Corinth or Larissa might end up being a better idea. It's more central to my empire. But I still like trying to keep my capital. So ultimately, when I start expanding westward, then these Roman territories won't hate me too much. But let's hit end turn. I mean, it's too bad I zoomed right out and I can't see who's doing stuff. We found an Armenian agent. Oh, there's still another Greek fleet. Well, there's still a, another Greek city out there. Oh no, it's um, Antioch. I am a fool. Oh, they're very unhappy. Blockade Campus City. No. Stop trying to make me do that. A worthy life ends. Valerius Glossia. Oh. 
popularity gained with the masses. No, we're actually still low. We are actually low. Popularity gained. Actually, it's gone down. Corinth. Get a aqueduct. Roads. Get a Temple of Mercury. Ankara. Get a Temple of Juno. Tarsus. Chill out. Synop. They've got a bit more grounds to be upset. To be honest, it makes you wonder, is it worth just... I was mostly worth demolishing everything. But then again, I think the big problems are not... Culture penalty is big. Hmm. It's a tricky one. Let's get you into Synop. Let's get... Town Watch can hunker down. So is Antioch the last thing they've, the last territory they've got? It seems like it is. Agents, yes. spies. So let's get a spy down to Alexandria. I. My fleet can continue on their merry way across the sea. Got another Orders. unit. Of Praetorians. Well, that's quite a big rebel army there. Could cobble together a force to go and take them out. Let's leave. Leave these guys to grow in strength. Let's go get you guys recruiting archers. You guys actually. Eh, let's go up to Thessalonica and let's pick up some. Legionary cohort to start to build up an army to go knock out the rebels. Get rid of all that. Get rid of all that. Don't worry about the Senate mission because they suck. So you're moving up to occupy the new fort. Two turns left. Three turns for the barracks there. Okay. I mean, I could push on Thrace, like, right now. I could. I could push on Germany. I could push everywhere. Although, except eastward, because these cities need some time to adjust. So the new way things are done. Julia is going to join the scrap for Palmer. I don't appreciate your spying. Armenia? I definitely don't. <gasps> the agent's going to buy me out. Oh no, they failed. Although I definitely need to get some more... Oh no! I've got an achievement. This is Partha gone. I don't want to say the rebels... <laughs> <laughs> so the Greeks have been destroyed. Do you know why the Greeks have been destroyed? They are so PO'd they chucked them out. <laughs> they, they rebelled themselves into extinction. Oh, GG. Nice work. Let's auto merge these men together because it looks like they are suffering attrition from the from the uh, unrest. Okay, let's go check our building browser. Get our next level barracks. And Tarsus and Synop, they both hate us. I might even destroy the armor, to be honest. Get you guys in the city. Get another round of retraining going on. And sadly, it won't be for armor upgrades, but. Okay, then back here. I need to start knocking out some assassins. Start taking out some of these guys. Textiles. 
textiles, gold, wine. There's lead up here. In due course, once I built a mine, you men say along. Coming of age, Manius Hortensius. It's kind of a bummer that you're over here, but you can help build forts. So what we can do is now you can go into here. Just keep building forts and just gradually just keep funneling men into here. Faction destroyed. We failed the buyouts and we had two units of rioting. Okay. Let's end turn. My spies creeping south. That's an exceptionally good rebel general right there. Armenia still carrying on their sneaky siege warfare. Not siege warfare. Spying. It's a Thracian diplomat, Thracian agents. Get you down to Memphis. Get you. Get you to Jerusalem. Your honor. See, they're very unhappy. Squalor's high, which doesn't help. We can't upgrade. We can't upgrade the sewers for whatever reason. Ceasefire in effect between Spain and Scipio. They're always ceasefiring. They can't make up their mind whether they are or aren't at war ever. Sardis, however, has an assassin who in Ionia can kill this merchant. Missed him. Okay, check out construction. Tarentum. Urban barracks completed. I mean, in theory, I should be building blacksmiths here to help improve the ability of these forts to uh, produce quality troops. Salona, build an external port. Thermon, build an aqueduct. Larissa, build. Circus Maximus, Legion Recovery, Praetorian Cavalry. There are things to watch out for there. Let's build walls and Sardis. Let's build roads and Pergamum. Let's build... Let's build a... Build mines to get rid of the culture offset. Culture penalty, rather. So let's, let's build new walls. Synop. Let's build... New roads. The archers are almost recruited. Sir, sir. Some legionary cavalry. Sir. Oh, we can get some onagers in there. We can sell this army here. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I just auto resolve that, don't I? Surely. Cyrene. It's in slave. There goes Numidia. Nice one. Nice job, us. And you guys. You can't fight them there. Repair the wall, repair the market, knock down their Temple of Melkart. We're shrine to Juno. Build some sewers. Let's keep the taxes way down low. Sure, oh, I haven't got I haven't got a uh, governor there to do that here. To do that there. Here, squalor is big, but I can't upgrade it. I can't fix it. Um, but yeah, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode of my Brutii campaign.
where we're probably going to look at pushing against uh, Thrace to at least capture Polaris and Campus Gete. Radio. Thanks, everyone.